All right, we're going to create a database in SQLite. Put in SQLite download. Select your operating system and then download the SQLite tools. Once you're in your downloads, open up a new folder. Go to your C drive. I'm just going to dump this in there. And then just rename it. And that should be it. All right, once you have RStudio open, install RSQLite. Then just require the packages. So then we're going to have a list of tickers. For now, Just gonna do a couple for this example. So we'll create a list of tickers, and then we need to write a function. Because I want to return the corrected open, high, low, close prices or adjusted prices. So we'll do this high, low, close volume. Let's get symbols. Paste in the ticker. And then from 2010. One zero one auto assign false. We'll adjust the prices for this volume. Use adjusted for true. Don't merge CS. And then just return it. We'll run this function. Just test it out. Now we should get corrected prices. So it looks like they've been adjusted. Great. The next thing we need to do is use kind of apply this list. function I'm going to put in this try in case it can't find the the ticker it won't break so true if so 
So if it doesn't return an error, return the data basically. And I'll add a progress bar. So go ahead and require PB apply. We'll go ahead and run this. So we completed it in three seconds. So I'm going to add this line in case there's any tickers that didn't return anything. So this will get rid of the empty ones, basically. So in this case, I found all seven. Next, we're going to get it ready for the database. So we're going to write another function. This will basically combine everything. This is just going to replace the, it's going to detect the, the header and replace this with emptiness so we get ticker. So the names, temp, Turn the data frame, core data. So, then the date, it's data frame, index. And now we're going to combine these two data frames. Start with the date, data. Since we're just going to return the date and the prices, we need to also add in a column for the ticker. Stock number of rows, data frame. C bind then th we're just going to rename the columns so it'll be date open high low close volume adjust it Great. Oh, sorry. And then we turn all. Let's do the whoops. Typo here. That was pretty quick. Next, we're going to combine all the data, and then we'll go ahead and require data table. So 
so that we can use our buy list. So we'll take a look at it. Yeah, for some reason in Yahoo Finance, it'll always, well, at least for me, it'll return the previous date. That's fine. We'll work with that. Next, what we'll do is convert it into a data frame. Strings, string X, vectors. For this line, I want to limit the number of integers after the decimal since we're using adjusted prices. So I'm going to round. Take a look. In this case, we don't see any, but when you adjust prices for a very long period of time, this will be very helpful. All right, so now for the fun part. We're gonna actually write this table. First, we need to tell SQLite what I'm putting in there. So date, we'll classify as date. Open will be classified as a double just copy these you put open the high close volume adjust it and the ticker so open this will be a high this will be low so be close for volume. It'll be an int. Just it will be a double. And then the ticker will be a bar char. Limited to eight. Go ahead and run this. Next, we call it in the driver PB driver. Skew light. Run this. We're going to establish a connection. So we'll use the driver TB name. So this will be the location where you want your database to be saved. We're going to place it on the desktop for now, but you should establish a folder for these. And then our database name, example, dot db. So we'll run this. Great. So now we have a connection. System time. We're going to write the table. The connection. Name. And get symbols. Value is our table called all field types. Types. I'm gonna 
room this. Typo there. So go ahead and run this. It's pretty fast. So now we have our database there. Now the next uh, line is to fix the dates. So fix dates. Send a query. Connection. And this will be our statement. When it writes it, it'll return a, a date in seconds. So this will fix it. Run this. So it updated. We're going to create an index so that when we call the, the ticker, it'll return much quicker. So we're going to send another query. Try that. Great. There you have it. The final thing to do is just disconnect. Alright, thanks for watching.